Hey, let's talk about bad habits. Now we all have bad habits and at times it may feel like we are actively sabotaging ourselves and actively working against ourselves. That we are our own worst enemy. They can hold us back and make us feel like we never finish our projects and that we never accomplish the goals that we set for ourselves. But you can fix it. So what steps can you take to make music faster and better and with less distractions and less hurdles? In this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the most common creative mistakes and how we can fix them. And as a side note, this video is related to making music, but all of these principles also apply to other creative endeavors. So let us discuss five common creative mistakes. Number one, procrastination. This is a big one. It's probably not surprising to anyone and it's something that we are all guilty of. Now, imagine you have a great idea for a song. You know what the lyrics will be about, you know the vibe you want, and you know what kind of instruments you want in it. So great, you're excited, but you never end up starting. Does this sound like you? Well, you're not alone. So let us look at some of the most common reasons for why we are procrastinating with our creative projects. First of all, having abstract goals. Your goals may be too vague. For our brains, it's hard to process big and vague goals. Say that you set yourself a goal that you are gonna make a great song. Now that's not a bad goal to have, but how are you gonna execute it? Breaking big goals up into smaller, more specific tasks makes it easier for your brain to process and attack the problem and to create a real actionable game plan. So instead of focusing on the goal, make a great song, you might wanna create smaller, more specific executable goals. Like for example, sit for five minutes, and come up with some chords, or make three ideas for a riff on the guitar, or come up with a vocal melody. Or maybe something even easier, like sit down at my desk and open up my DAW. The more specific and actionable your goal is, the easier it is for you to complete it. The next point is fear of failure. Sometimes we can be paralyzed by the fear of making a bad end product. Maybe we have fallen in love with the idea of how good we want the song to end up, but then we fear that once we start working on it, it won't turn out as well, or that it won't get the reception that we'd like it to get. Well, the bad news is, this will happen many, many times. The good news is, you won't run out of good ideas. You will keep getting good ideas and you will improve for every song you make and every project you finish, you will be better and you will have more experience. You just have to get all the bad songs out of the way. Next procrastination factor is indecisiveness. In all creative endeavors, you have an endless amount of options. And having many options may feel paralyzing, especially because you know there is no correct answer. Unfortunately, there is no correct choice. Sometimes you just have to settle for imperfection and remember that you can always come back later and change it. Number two, you get bogged down in details too soon. Sometimes we can get too focused on the details too early in the process. Maybe you're excited about a certain detail or some ear candy, or maybe you just want it to be perfect from bar one and you spend hours getting the details just right, only to realize that you could have written an entire song on the time you spent fiddling around with the details. This is a very common mistake that may kill your motivation. Imagine building a house and as soon as you start building the first wall, you get obsessed with the artwork you wanna hang on that wall once the house is finished. And you spend hours picking out the perfect art piece if you go about it like this, you'll never finish. So work on the framework first and then focus on the details. And a quick little bonus tip to increase your productivity, click that like button and help the YouTube algorithm if you found anything in this video useful. Number three, you hold on to bad ideas. Now imagine this, you had an idea that you really liked. So you spent hours on honing it and getting it just right, only to realize that it actually sounds kind of bad. So what do you do? You definitely don't want to get rid of it because you spend so much time on it. Well, sadly, sometimes you have to kill your darlings. A lot of times you can make your songs a lot better by simply removing your old ideas. You won't get back the time you spent on them anyways. Number four, you listen to your song too much before it's finished. Have you ever started making a song, been really excited about what you have so far, and then started listening to it over and over again until you got tired of it? Don't lie, I know you have. Every time you listen to everything you have so far, you lose precious time and you risk getting sick of your song. And this drastically reduces your motivation and the likelihood of you finishing your song. 
And in addition, whenever you're doing this, you are interrupting the flow state you're in and the creative headspace you're in. Obviously, you need to listen to your song and look for ways you can improve it and the changes you can make. However, if you find yourself listening to the same parts over and over again without making any changes, you might just be procrastinating. And finally, number five, you don't finish your projects. You've been working on a song for a while, it's starting to feel like you have a hit on your hands, it's almost done and you never finish it. It joins all your other unfinished projects in the cemetery of unfinished songs that is your project folder. This might partly be because of the infamous 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the song requires 20% of your effort, and 20% of your song requires 80% of your effort. And the last 20% of finishing your song is usually the hardest and most tedious and boring step of the process. This is where you have to make tiny little adjustments and you have to mix and master and clean up all the messy areas. This is also the part where you have to make the tough decision of when you're finished and when you're gonna stop making adjustments. You can keep polishing a song forever, but at some point you need to decide that the song is finished. So I hope you found these tips useful. And if you feel like there were some I missed, I would love it if you dropped a comment in the comment section. So thank you for watching, see you in the next video, and in the meantime, you can check out this video right here.